Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to one more game from 1905 Hauptturnier in Barman. And today I am going to show you the game uh, with the, another player who won this tournament because Akiba Rubinstein and Oldrich Duras won this tournament ex -exfo. And this is the game which decided who going to be winner. So both of them, of course, won. Uh, but let's see who was better in this game. So Olzich Duras play as white, both of them born in the same quarter of 1882. So both of them are, you know, uh, 22 years old and Olzich Duras uh, ranking by chess metrics 2523. Uh, and Akiba Rubinstein play as black 2531. And about Olzich Duras, he was pretty strong, as you see, the, he won this tournament and he also won another three tournaments and he had a good score against uh, many players like uh, Richard Teichmann, so leading players of this, of this period, uh, David Janowski, Karl Schlechter, uh, Aaron Nimzovic. Uh, he, he was slightly worse with uh, Frank Marshall, but he managed to win seven games against him, for example, and uh, he draw and lose against uh, Jose Raul Capablanca, uh, played only uh, one game ag against Emmanuel Lasker, which he lost. Uh, so he was definitely very strong. And in 1950, he got the title of Grandmaster because in 1950, uh, Fide, Chess organization just uh, gave uh, grandmaster titles for the players, uh, you know, from the past, uh, from the 19th and 20th century. Uh, okay, so that's being said, uh, quite strong uh, player, uh, grandmaster, maybe not the elite, the top of the top, like uh, like uh, world champions uh, or, or people who, who compete with the world champion on the top level. So he was not the, now we would say super grandmaster, like some people said about these top players uh, nowadays, but definitely strong player. So let's see what happened on the board. Olgi Duras open with E4. We have E5 by Rubinstein. So usually he go French defense, but against Olgi Duras E5. We have knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, so we have Rui Lopez on the board, a6, bishop a4, and knight on f6. Uh, and here we have d3. So that's Andersen variation of uh, Morphy defense in Rui Lopez. Um, very, very silent move, like, uh, you know, just uh, principles of, of the opening, uh, bring the light square bishop to the game, now close, open the, uh, close the position in the center and, uh, and bring the dark square bishop to the game. So uh, pretty standard principle stuff, not nothing fancy. D6 and knight C3. So without C3 and D4 attack on the center. And here we have bishop d7 as this knight was pinned, so now it's not pinned. And here we have castle by uh, Oldrich Duras, bishop e7, and here bishop b3. Maybe too early, maybe first should be prepared like uh, a3, uh, but Oldrich Duras play bishop on b3. And immediately uh, Akiba Rubinstein go for that bishop. Now this bishop can't move. Actually, it's trapped here, so have to be exchanged for the knight. Uh, here we have d4. Uh, e takes on d4. Queen takes on d4, uh, going to the center. And here we have knight takes on b3. A takes on b3 as well by Duras, and uh, now we have castle by Rubinstein, bishop g5, developing the bishop, rook e8, rook to the center, and rook a to d1. So centralizing the rooks, the rooks should play in the center. Uh, Olgic Duras, of course, didn't see any possibilities to play on open, uh, semi-open A file um, because A6 was moved, so that would take too much time uh, to play on the queen side. Bishop on C6, so uh, bringing the bishop to this uh, wonderful um, diagonal, and we have rook F on E1. Here, H6, so kicking out the, the bishop, bishop H4, and queen on d7. 
And it looks like uh, there are some tactics in the center, for example, e5 or even knight on e5. But this this queen is, is actually well protected twice and defender can't be taken because uh, even it's taken, then this bishop would uh, attack the queen. So it all doesn't work. So, for example, if e5, then we have the really forcing line uh, d takes on e5, rook takes on e5 and now bishop on f3 and even queen is taken here and after knight on d7 and rook on d7 going out of harm way from the bishop and attacking the bishop three times now we would have just bishop on h4 uh, rook of course on e8 and after taking the rook on e8 g takes on f3 and rook e7 so this position that would be the um, uh, end game which uh, it's not really great for white uh, black stands better uh, better pawn structure and of course the bishop on the in the position where um, there is a lot of open files and all the actions happening in the uh, in both of the sides so uh, that would be really forcing line not really great uh, knight d5 was played probably too early Olgich Duras developed all the pieces and he wanted to do something probably h3 would be better to you know prepare all the game maybe even rook e3 and double the rooks maybe even queen on d3 improving the position on, of the pieces uh, but knight on d5 was met by Akiba Rubinstein, um, he, he calculated some plan. So first bishop on d5 check, e takes on d5 and now g5 kicking this bishop, so bishop has to move, bishop can't take the, the knight, knight was attacked twice, so uh, g5 was necessary, bishop on g3 and now knight on h5. And here queen on d3. So uh, this is of course the threat uh, attacking the making the x-ray and winning the pawn. So uh, queen on d3 first. Bishop f6 as planned and now we have c3. So defending this pawn on b2. And here we have queen on b5. So that's the rest of the plan. And now white has to decide something, what end game they want to play. So for example, if they play queen on c4, um, then we would have queen takes on c4, b takes on c4, and now b5. And uh, black would play much better on the, on the queen side. So for example, um, exchanging the, the rooks on e8, King f1 bringing the king to, king to the center, but rook can go back to b8. And after rook on a1 attacking the, the pawn on a6, we could have b takes on c4 with attack on the, uh, on the b2 square. And here rook on a2, of course, uh, can't play here because of the, of the bishop. So uh, rook on a2 would be played. And now uh, white just have to think, okay, do I want to play this game? I'm the one pawn down. Uh, so probably not really great to me. And my rook actually stuck there. Uh, so not really the greatest idea. Maybe uh before could be playable but then queen on d3 and then exchanging the rooks first and taking the queen and now g4 would happen knight on d2 and for example rook on e1 so uh, knight on e2 uh, knight on d2 of course the, the only move and uh, knight f1 and now rook b1 so attacking the um, the pawn, rook d2 defending and now bishop g5 attacking the rook so rook has to move and now f5 and have f3 king g7 exchanging and also the question do I want to play the game where this rook sit on my first rank and my rook actually is only uh, defending that pawn and that's um, yes there is no there is no uh extra pawn for black but still you know what is the evaluation of this position for black believe me or not but is minus three that means it's the in in really favor of black so black has everything 
here all the initiative and um, and yeah so Olgi Duras probably calculated all of that he didn't like th this position but uh, as you see this knight moving to d5 caused the, the the problems now a couple of moves later so he decided to give up the open file so now Akiba Rubinstein is on the a open file and here we have b4 so Olgi Duras um, said okay I want to at least keep all the pawns on the board um, but uh, is it possible uh, black gonna have too much activity now king on f8 king on f1 by Olgich Duras and here we have rook on a2 so attacking the, the the pawn now we have rook on b1 and here g4 so similar to the uh, variation I show you to the line I show you g4 was played knight g1 actually uh, any other uh, moving this this knight any, in any other place is losing so uh, if you want for example knight on d4 then after exchanging the rooks we would have bishop on d4 uh, and here uh, look at this pawn structure that's um, definitely losing for uh, for white so uh, not an option to play knight on d4 and if playing for example knight on d2 is even worse bishop on c3 uh, and then exchanging this way so uh, now white are pawned down and uh, still nothing improving the position so knight on g1 is the only move and now we have rook on e1 uh, king on e1 bishop on e5 so forcing to exchange these bishops now uh, we have exchanging the bishops on e5 and f3 so uh, Olgi Duras you know have quite passive position so uh, don't want uh, Rubinstein to consolidate uh, f5 would be would be pretty strong here so he play f3 g takes on f3 knight takes on f3 and now we have f6 so consolidating this way uh, but now black has the uh, three pawn islands so uh, not really comfortable and uh, on the queen side actually um, they have minority only three pawns against four pawns so Duras got some chances to play on the queen side uh, and here we have g3 first so preventing from that attack on um, this d5 um, pawn and here we have king on e7 so centralizing the king knight h4 uh, so now preparing some fork here uh, and here we have knight g7 so defending the f5 pawn which uh, it's not available now uh, so knight g2 finding another way and knight f5 uh, g4 kicking the knight knight d6 so uh, now knight is ready to you know pick up the the pawn on b2 uh, and here we have knight on e3 knight c4 as planned and here we have knight f5 with check king f7 uh, and here Olgich Duras has to decide what to do uh, th there are a couple of options but not really great for him probably he, cho he choose the, the best possible uh, h5 would be would be okay uh, he played king on f2 but this taking this pawn looks very tempting because now white would have the extra passed pawn on the uh, h5 and that would be dangerous especially with these pawns on the queen side at the same time of course this pawn is lost but but still king g6 would be played so not really great knight go back to uh, f5 now knight on b2 and here the only chance for white to do something with this pawn structure would be probably d6 so c takes on d6 now these pawns are are you know uh, vulnerable so that's the only chance for white and of course this pawn has to be taken if not then then it just go and uh, advance so not an option uh, as the uh, as the knight controls e to e7 uh, square so has to be taken and after knight takes on d six 
uh, we would have knight on d3 check. And now uh, king f1, probably the only move, and here rook on h2. So this is the problem now. The white king is cut. And now there are also a lot of, of, of things, uh, you know, uh, dangerous things for white as the, it's easy to lose the rook. So rook on d1 uh, and for example, knight on f4. So very uncomfortable situation for white now. And the threat is, of course, uh, rook uh, goes on uh, h1 and then the rook could be uh, taken as the uh, e2 a square is uh, controlled by the knight so um, white king couldn't defend the, the rook so now king would have to move somewhere for example on g1 uh, but then rook on c2 so attacking the, the pawn um, knight takes on b5 let's say defending that pawn and uh, still knight e2 king f1 knight g3 king g1 and now king g5 going for this pawn and after knight d6 let's say king g4 and taking on b7 we would have king on h3 and actually this is checkmate which cannot be prevented so um, that's just uh, losing uh, game so not possible with king on g1 not possible on king, king on g1 it's just losing king on e1 is not really better after rook on e2 check king f1 king g5 and in similar pattern knight b5 uh, king g4 rook e1 and even if e exchanging the, the pieces uh, then it's still losing uh, for example c4 everything looks pretty good here like uh, okay i have the king on the in the center and my two pawns uh, just gonna get and promote but actually it doesn't work e4 this pawn is actually much faster knight on d6 and here knight on d4 and knight on d4 with plan of controlling the uh, e1 square so that's the promotion square c5 e3 uh, b5 e2 and of course uh, promotion on uh, e1 and winning the game so uh, really really difficult stuff here uh, probably h4 would be interesting for duras the problem is this uh, king is actually stuck on the first line so would be very uncomfortable for example knight on b2 h5 so sealing this um, this place here and now knight d3 we check king f1 knight f2 attacking the pawn on uh, g4 uh, and here knight on h6 can be actually taken and after king on g7 knight f5 uh, king h7 and rook e1 uh, knight g4 yes that's uh, that's that's probably also lost rook e2 would have to be play and king g2 uh, but it's still probably the better option for white white would do something here uh, so that's the one option which uh, Olzik Duras didn't like. He preferred to move the, the king to f2. So uh, king moving to the center. Very important move, of course. And, uh, and yeah, here we have king on g6. So Rubinstein don't go for the uh, b2 pawn yet and uh, still waiting. And here, believe me or not, but Olzik Duras, I have no idea how he did it but he played king on f3 so he blundered whole game and after knight on d2 he just resigned the game as this is a uh, fork of course and uh, rook is lost so uh, that's dramatic that's quite dramatic so Olzik Duras had the chance to win this tournament uh, but actually uh, this game probably he could draw that was difficult for him of course black stands much better but it still was possible to try to play um, for example instead of this king on f3 king on g3 could be played uh, and then after knight on b2 
knight on e7 would be one of the lines uh, which uh, would be quite complicated and and quite complex for example knight on e7 i will just show you what's the problem here now king go on f7 then going back and attacking this pawn on uh, h6 which is um, now it's of course uh, possible to take because the king is is near so um, these pawns could be uh, very dangerous uh, and then king on g6 again knight on e7 of course uh, king on g7 uh, gives nothing so black has to hide the king uh, in not really active square and now d6 so with the same plan and the same idea uh, c takes on d6 and now rook on f1 attacking the the pawn on f6 so knight on c4 and now rook takes on f6 yes and then king h7 rook have to go to f2 and after exchanging uh, then probably probably king f7 and uh, that is pretty drawish actually knight on f5 attacking now the the two two pawns so this knight can't be moved and uh, king has to keep an eye on uh, h6 so uh, yes black has uh, one extra pawn but that would be the way to the draw for all jihduras and he could just you know uh, win this tournament get the soul lead in the tournament uh, but yeah, he just he just lost by really ugly blunder. Knight d2 just won the game for Rubinstein. So, congratulations to Akiba Rubinstein and also Oljich Duras for winning the tournament in Barman in 1905. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, if you like this video, just press like. If you don't like, press unlike. And leave the comment what kind of the games you would like me to comment. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.